Hello, it's Sarah. So I finished my configuration box. It's pretty good. I'm happy with it. I wanted to do it. I kind of um, wanted to do the take on when he does his classes. And basically you get all his goodies in the class and load up your con uh, configuration box with his goodies. So I tried to stick to um, Tim Holtz things as best I could. Like the little... Uh, airplane that's not him and this corner piece I don't have his corner pieces because I have so many of these um, other ones um, I forget the brand but they're super good quality and I just love them so I just his are ten bucks and like you know I just I do try to save I use my coupons as best I can and like this this little corner let's see if I can um, just move my tripod but these corners I really need to figure I don't know if I'm going to be able to find them, but I love these, uh, yeah, I don't, oh man, but the brand, it's like, it's not my mind's eye, but in Michael's, uh, yeah, I can't find it, I don't want to waste time talking about that, but they're super good quality, and I love that you can hang things off them, too. Um, the one thing about this, uh, if you could see it, I mean, I'm going to move my... This is the small, one of the smallest ones. This is like eight by, six and a half. So it's small and maybe a good idea would be to like, I'm gonna turn my light off, it's too much glare. Um, maybe not use all the boxes and that way you'd have bigger cubbies because these cubbies are very small and it's hard to work with them um, because you can't really even fit your hand in like to to put these little uh, eye hooks here even to turn them um, is it's really hard like even to to stab this into the side it's just it's difficult so it's hard to work with the little cubbies but the results pretty good I want to just go over what I did the first the very first thing I did was put this um, clock uh, key onto the side and I asked my husband about drilling a hole and everything and he's he's like yeah I don't know I don't think that's gonna work and we really couldn't figure out a way and then I just in one of the um, one of his books I looked and this is what he does you hook it into a key hole and that totally holds I put it on with glossy accents and did one of my dangles which I love these dangles I just and this time I put a um, whatever these are called thing, a fragment, and just try to put all his little baubles and stuff on there, um, pins and everything. I put an S this time for me, for Sarah. And then going along the top, I put, I tried to use all my grunge board pieces and different stuff like that, because I have it, and it's Tim Holtz, so I'm just into the red and yellow lately, and I just stamped some script on there and used the distress stickles. I glossy accented this um, handle up in the middle, and then I put some arrows over here. Now this one, these I actually uh, put paper. I stuck paper to them just with script on it, and I think those marks, which I love the distressed look of it, is like the the glue that got on the top of the paper so that it didn't the um the ink didn't take to that part and it just turned out more grungy looking so i love that and then on this side uh again i used i actually had a bigger hinge ready to go but it ripped because i was too rough i'm very rough and it did rip tim your stuff does rip just so you know, if you get me dealing with it, it's going to rip because I'm tough. But uh, So I put some brads in there and just glued that down, which I love those. I think they look great, you know. Um, it's got his feet on it because I did have his feet. I've been hoarding them for a long time. And, and then inside, um, I used a couple different kind of papers, but um, I just left this one plain because it had the dangles and everything and you could kind of see butterflies. Butterflies were kind of showing, so I left that plain. These are not his um, game piece, or I guess they're Scrabble tiles. I just got them, I think, from wherever I found them and I put a little bit of distress stickles on them to give them some something and I don't know. 
a key. This, I think, is not his bird either. He has a very similar bird, but this bird is made by the same company that makes the corners, and I just, I can't think of the name of it. It's called Metal, 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 but then there's a brand name, and I, I'm sorry. Um, um, don't, I don't remember. Um, this was cool. I haven't really used these very often. These are the little, um, I don't, remember I think I have the box of these but it's like a little pole thing it's a brad that goes behind that and then the hook I mean the um the little jump ring so I hung this this is probably from one of my artichokes that I took apart or some sale uh or clearance beads that I get sometimes because I did go through my stash of just all types of metal things um I think this uh thimble is a piece of artichoke and then I stamped a little ticket back there and colored it with the red and yellow because I am into that lately put the crown down here because I do love the crown I had a heart uh like I grunged up a heart or I and, and I just put it in there by itself and I just wasn't happy with it so I ended up like fussy cutting out a couple of uh the moths and the butterflies and just like put them in there it's all right and then this I think it's either one of the um the beads from Michael's again it, it just kind of or it's a um, artichoke or one of those that I took apart and I used the pieces um, but it was just it kind of looked like a game piece or something um, so I hung that there one of Tim Holtz's numbers I put here this is of course a clock with a spinner and a, um, I don't know a little arrow spinner and then these are my latest little things to do which I'm loving I did the XO and I think they're called type type pads, or you make them. I think that's everything. See, this is another one of those corners that's by that company, um, the same company. And they're just gorgeous, so why not use them? Um, it, it's the same type of deal. He, he, you know, he would like that. He wouldn't mind. Um, but that's basically it. There's not a lot of room to do much. So, um, but yeah, let me get back to, so that's it. Um, I like it. I'm pretty happy with it. It's Tim Holtzy. All right. So the next thing I'm making, and maybe I should raise my tripod, but this is what I was trying to um, talk about the other day. It's patchwork pandemonium. This is another class that he takes, and I'm going to end up taking a class with him at some point. I'm really going to try. I'm going to. Um, it's the new year coming up. I haven't been able to find any openings like cl for classes. But uh, I would like to, I've taken classes my whole life, mostly with painting, and it is just too fun when you get in there and everything. So this is what, Patchwork Pandemonium, this is um, making little art tiles, I guess, out of his grunge paper and using his, uh, uh, these thingies, whatever they're called. He calls them texture fades, right? And just kind of putting them together with the inks and all different techniques. Now, he would teach you different techniques on each piece. So each piece would be a different technique. I'm just kind of going with what I know how to do. I'm playing some with the uh, texture fades. And they're not embossing as deeply as I, as I thought they would. I thought they would emboss a little deeper. But it, this is grunge paper, so maybe it just doesn't. Um, but I'm, I'm happy with it so far. I'm going to play. This is 8x10. I think he does like 8x8 and all that, but I figured I could get an 8x10 frame for this pretty easily, maybe even with a mat, and then I'll put paper around the mat and everything. So I'll show you it when it's finished. But um, I'm kind of sticking with these techniques right now while I have all the products out. I mean, my desk is a mess, but these are what I've been making, these little things. These come in a pack with all the different grunge pieces and um, you just glue them to the, uh, I guess this is grunge board and then paint them black and then you um, use the, the uh, sandpaper and get off the thing and then do that a different color. So I don't know, I'm pretty, I'm, I'm liking it pretty good. I like this and look at my little skull, my skull. So it's fun. All right, that's it for now guys. All right, thanks for watching.